Hey, how's it going out there, Mark? From Backyard Grills and Streams coming back at you. Time for another Friday Jam. And, uh, being that you still got your guitar and drop D tuning, you can look all over YouTube and figure out how to, you know, tune your guitar to drop D. But, uh, because I've got an earlier video, I kind of showed you how to do that. Uh, like part one to this thing, or this day's video anyway. And, uh, so considering you watched my earlier video and uh, got into drop D tuning, we're going to do a little bit of a lesson slash jam because I want to do a little bit of a, I don't know, we're just going to play around with it after I kind of do a little bit of a lesson for you. But uh, what I want to do, uh, on, while you're in drop D tuning, we're going to give you an A7, A7 chord, something new for you. So all you got to do is go, you're going to take and come with your middle finger. It's going to be on the fourth string, which is a D note, actually. Well, D string, actually. But you're going to come down to the fourth string, middle finger on the second fret or in the second fret. You're going to take your ring finger. You're going to put it on the second string, second fret. And then you strum all six strings, being that you're in the drop D tuning. Hear how that sound, that A7? Kind of a Spanish feel sound. And all you're going to do, you're going to slide back and forth. I'll show you this little riff right here. But you're going to stay in the A7. You're going to slide up. How that, how that kind of rings out you just got to hit it once and let it ring out and then when you get back home you take it and hit it again say so basically what you're doing you, you come over here you slide to the second fret then you skip over to third and you slide into the fourth fret on that same strum and then you come back to the A7 and then you strum the A7 like this Yeah, that sounds won't that sound cool so basically we're hitting that's you're hitting you're using the pick twice you strum down on the a7 you do your little riff or you slide and then you come back and you hit the a7 again so now for the fun part once you do that kind of an intro when somebody comes up and says hey play me a little something on the guitar oh throw this here at them I guarantee they're gonna like this then you come once you do your A7 then you come up here you're gonna take your D position being that you've worked on your D some and you're gonna come up to the fifth fret right there like that whoa that sounds good and then you actually in the in this song or this little thing we're doing right here, I'm gonna kind of keep it basic for now. But then you're gonna go up. The only chord you're gonna need is a D right here, D position, in the fifth fret. Then you're gonna do same position. You're gonna jump up to the seventh fret, right there. Hear that sound? And you can strum it. You can there again. If you since you're in drop D, you can strum it from six strings down. come up to the seven start from six strings down or you don't have to you can do it from the fourth string or you know just a few strings see it still sounds cool so so far what you got is and actually what you want to do you want to take that when you come up to that position right there I would strum up on it just you can do it either way but I'd strum up on it watch this right there so you can strum up the strings and it kind of gets that little ring ringy sound and you can also one thing you can do you can take your middle finger off really gives a good sound the, the uh, 
other position you're going to go up to is basically it's a G. You're in an F right now. And then you're going to go up to a G right there. But that's the only two chords right there you're going to do. So let's play around a little. Let's keep it a little simple for right now. And uh, I'll show you a good little song. I don't even know. I just wonder if anybody even knows what I'm doing right here yet. What group I'm playing. What this song is. Okay, here we go. Once you go from... Strum the whole chord. Just keep the D there and strum the whole chord once. And then just... You can do this down strokes. I'll slow it down a little bit for you. Can you spare, can you spare a dime? See, I'm down to my last dollar. I've been there. Woo-hoo. This life of mine. This life of mine. Gets rough at times. keep it there for the kind of the little simple thing to play around with but now we're going to jam some so hope y'all have fun watching this matter of fact i might even cut this and make a different video we'll see In that blanket he calls home On the does he know That his family they left alone Said brother can you spare, can you spare a dime Brought him down to my last dollar This life of mine Said this life of mine Gets worth it and that's the other part you can sing over it you can play it over and sing 
but it's tough. It I ain't done this in years, but I just like playing over the jam. Hope y'all like that.